These animals might appear to be aliens, but trust me, they're not. Seriously, they're all from planet Earth. Unless, of course, the panspermia theory is true. Anyway, prepare for 10 animals you've probably never heard of. Unless, of course, you know, you're a freaking genius. At number 10 is the Fusa, which you may have heard of if you've seen Madagascar, but it is real. It is from the actual island of Madagascar. It is a muscular tree mongoose and the largest mammalian predator in Madagascar. And yes, it hunts lemurs. At number 9 is this animal, which is a hummingbird. No wait, I'm pretty sure it's a hawk. Wait, okay now it kind of looks like a moth. Okay, well, actually, as it turns out, it's all three. Kind of. It's a moth that looks like its father was a moth, but its mother was half hawk, half hummingbird. Not that I know how that would work out. But in its name, it is known as a hummingbird hawk moth. They are distributed widely from the Iberian Peninsula to China, but prefer warmer climates and rarely survive their winters anywhere north of the Alps in Europe or north of Caucasus in Central Asia. Taking the spot at number 8 is the tufted deer. Now, this looks like a normal deer, right? Well, it is, except for one abnormal feature. It has fangs. Yes, it has f***ing fangs. Only the males have the tusks, though, but that is still weird for a deer species. Number 7. Now, you've seen a wolf, and you've seen a fox, and this is what you may get if you combine the two. The maned wolf. They are found mainly in the grasslands of southern Brazil. It is basically really just a fox that forgot it wasn't the wolf. At number 6 is the national animal of Pakistan, and it is known as the Marakhor, which sounds a bit Vulcan to me, to be honest. It is found widely throughout Central Asia, and it's two large screw horns. This is basically because one day, an ancient Marakhor with straight horns got bored of them, and he just said, screw them. I wonder if he meant to be taken literally. At number 5 is the Patagonia Mara. This Argentinian rodent basically resembles a jackrabbit that halfway through the transformation into a deer just said screw it, and apparently was not taken literally this time. Taking the spot of number 4 is the southern right whale dolphin. These guys are a small species of dolphin found in the cooler waters far south. One weird thing about them is that this one has its entire body out of the water, yet it has no dorsal fin which should make anything going underwater highly unstable. At number 3 is the Hoetzine, which hasn't bathed in so long that it is in the Guinness Book of World Records as the smelliest bird. Yeah, seriously. This pungent odor is believed to be caused by its diet of green leaves and its uniquely, for birds, bovine digestive system. In second place is the Frilled Shark, which, despite how ugly it may be, is clearly the happiest creature in the ocean. It is widely known as a living fossil, although that's probably because humans just got tired of thinking that everything that lives underwater is an alien. At number one is the giant rubber crab. The giant rubber crab is a giant hermit crab, and when I say giant, I mean giant, because it weighs as much as 9 pounds. They are also known as the coconut crab, as they climb trees for coconuts. As it is 1 meter from leg to leg, weighs 9 pounds, and lives 60 years, it is basically at the limit of how big arthropods can grow with current oxygen level over its atmosphere. Amazing to us, but it is something insects of the Carboniferous period would laugh at. Thank you for watching this video. How many of these animals did you recognize? Tell us in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe.